Hello everyone, welcome to our Laravel REST API development tutorial. I am Akash with you. Today we are going to create product create API, product list API with filtering support. In filtering we will add search, order by filtering and also definitely we will always follow best coding practices. So let's start. So if you go to our product repository, we can see there is only two methods and also in CRUD interface we have only two methods, right? Uh, get by get by ID and get all. So we'll add another method for creating, like create, and in this we'll actually pass uh, a data or like request all data here. And after successful creation, definitely it will pass an object or null. And if we come back to our product repository, we can see there is an error, no problem. What it would be, it would be like copy the one of the method and then it would be create and definitely it would be an array and also it would be data. And also we we'll, would we'll expect this uh, product and one thing we have missed as it could be null somehow. So we should like give uh, like this and also same as same as to this and in this method what actually will mainly do will just return product and definitely call the create method with passing the data and actually this main cause would be this but we'll also add some additional stuff like uh, image upload for here and also like uh, slug generation unique slug generation Okay, so we would do also two, two stuff here. And definitely we don't write those method here, we would abstract it in another methods. And but let's go to our product controller. If we go to our product controller, uh, we need we need like this create or so we need store, we need show, we don't need this edit route because we are making APIs, right? It's not like web interface. So those are not necessary. So as I, I have deleted those lines. And if we go to api.php file, so instead of this uh, get route, we'll use a resource route and definitely we'll use API resource, right? So look like this, API resource and this, this is the name and this is the controller. And for as it's a resource, we don't need to pass like that. We can pass it like this. So, but an important thing we need to check the route list after generating this if the route exists or not. So, if we give this partition RL, so we knew we can see that our products API slash products um, uh, put request, patch request, delete, and everything. So that's perfect. Okay, we have added the routes. So then we'll create a request this partition make request product create request enter it. So if we go to our request, product create request, we can get this, but uh, definitely we don't use, we use our API request, right? Instead of this form request, because this is how our data processed. So remove this and also make authorize true and pass the rules. So what need, what parameters need to pass here? If we go to our product, we can see this kind of data we have so add it here paste it here and command d control d and then just add for now let's say for everyone like record but let's say we will remove remove things but for title it would be a definitely it would be required and it would be string and it would be maximum of like 100 characters and for slug and also it would be a string value and uh, it one thing it would be unique of a table right unique of products table right so it's important for this and also someone cannot give maximum like uh, 100 well 100 or as it's slug we can give some more 120 and for price it's required and also it it would be numeric value someone can give numeric value here and for image, we don't need to make this uh, required for now. We can make this optional nullable. But if someone give um, the value email, he should pass a valid email, right? It should be image. 
if you pass this value and for user id we don't give the user id we can get those from our authenticated data right so we don't pass it so come back product controller so now instead of this uh, uh request we'll actually use our product create request right so Im import it import it at top yeah and also the exception is a smaller word and uh this is okay and let's just copy this try catch and paste it in here also the, our response type will be definitely a json response as we are working with apis and we don't need this commenting stuff we don't like this commenting we'll actually use uh, this kind of commenting for ourselves so copy this but we can make may copy this letter from, but for now let's copy okay but and it would be a uh, post and a paste list products and e index would be store right and okay so for per page we don't need like this so and it would be like a uh, create product so that's it and to invalid import so and product repository uh, we don't need like get all we'll use like create right we have the create method and we will pass the request all so and we don't need to make this request like so because we have the request object right now we can call it like request and all that's it and if everything works perfectly we will say like product uh, created successfully that's it great but uh, as we don't pass any body here what we will pass we'll take this from login controller so we can we can use two ways for our self we, for register controller like we have used json data json type data but uh, for for this case like if we use json data then we cannot work with image easily image so it, the lot of uh, these uh, swagger ui doesn't support both image and json doesn't support both that means it only support this one type of media type for a for a request body so we either we should choose the application slash json either we should choose application multi-platform data as we are working with uh, image so we should not proceed with like image json we should proceed with like of multi part from data so but let's copy this as it is the same copy this and go to product controller paste it in here here and okay so and it would be like uh, product object okay so it would not, don't, would not be application slash json but we can change it anytime definitely it would be multi part slash form data so that we can get image there multiple slash from data okay so we should add all of the properties also so, but for now let's see if it works as it is we can get those things let's see reload it come back here so if we come to our product we can see that there is a new route here perfect and also there is some additional things or what we have already done previously this is multiple slash form data as it's perfect and then now let's change these things like it would be uh, title so default value could be uh, product title and it would be like get this thing from product create request title slug price image Okay, there we need the four field title and slug and also it would be slug and it would, it would not be like user it would be for product and then the another things could be and for slug like it should be like product title right and slug and then price so product price and it's like uh, we can give a string but it would be maybe integer Let, let's see if it's okay or not and for example value let's pass uh, 200 price and then the next is image so product image 
and it's actually string but we don't give any example value here what we get we give we give format and for product it format would be binary and it's uh, for an image actually it should be binary so okay and the required field would be like uh, title then slug then uh, price and then image but image is not required so we should not put that like there also slug should not be required someone can should could not give slug slug could be not required and also check this request if slug is required so make this nullable if someone doesn't give slug we will actually generate a slug for him like uh, if we go to product repository if slug is empty then we will generate a slug for him here but um, let's like look like this like data uh, if uh, empty of data of slug if slug is empty then we will like data of slug equal str str of slug and definitely we will use data of title right Ti we would definitely give title without title it would not come here right and so for str we just import this uh, facade import this support helper file here yep and that's it for unique slug generation if there is no slug we can give this and also we can handle image later let's see if it works okay so someone cannot doesn't necessary to give slug and if he doesn't give we will generate a slug for him um, but I think we should make this some beautiful some like uh, data if 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 uh, like uh, we don't uh, use a long title we'll just shorter it so how we can do this we'll give get maximum like 50 or say 60 characters from that like like, like we can get maximum of 80 characters from the title okay so it's data of slack and also as uh, sometimes it could be possible that uh, some same slug could be created so for now what i'm doing i'm just appending a hyphen and added the timestamp current times current time here so the slug will be unique definitely if he doesn't give a slug now let's reload it and let's try if it works or not if we go to product we can see title and price is required let's try it out give some title um, product title product title send empty value no nope. we, we should pass uh, actually we can pass the empty value here but price and perfect let's execute it and let's see what's the error problem uh, user id doesn't have a default value yeah of course user id doesn't have a default value so what we, we, we need to pass we need to add user id add user id right so like uh, data of user id equal auth of id okay so Data of user ID would be auth ID. So and definitely for auth would use the auth facade. Import the auth facade. Yep. And so that's it. So let's re hit again. Execute it. Yeah, well, fine. Product created successfully. That's great. Product title 200 null. Perfect. And if we hit the now execute again because all slack is already created, so it should throw us an error. Like, yeah, it's the slack has already been taken. Perfectly done. And if someone doesn't give a slack, well, let's see what it's what it's doing. Like, if someone doesn't give a valid slug, doesn't give a slug, we have will pass the into value execute it and let's see it is it's perfectly done like product title and it's a created a with a unique slug that's super exciting so what for the crowd interface we should uh, prepare our data for inserting into database right so what we would do would prepare our data for to insert in database so we should create a new uh, interface for this like copy this paste it here like uh, 
we have created a file like db preparable interface so we have created a interface its name is like db preferable inter preparable interface we will prepare this uh, data for to insert in database like we will add a uh, prepare for db prepare for db method and we'll pass an array and definitely we'll pass also an array we don't we, we definitely we have to pass an array so it's like db preparable interface and and also we can give a uh, capital db it would be better okay and and inside of this uh, repository let's add this also CRUD interface also db preparable interface so then definitely we have to use this prepare method so let's like it would be same as almost same as this just just copy this and this and it would be like public function create but it would be or register product if we go to the interface it's like db pre prepare for db change this to prepare for db and also definitely it, it would return an array and uh, we should not and what we can do here we can handle this kind of data actually here right so we don't process this in here in this method rather we would call this this prepare for db and pass the data so then like this method is only we're doing one work it's just creating okay we're following the solid principle properly here and also this is preparing for database right also we can abstract all of the specific things for from here to there but uh, as these methods will not use um, repeatedly so we can keep this in here and we don't need to pass this and just return the data perfect so data is also an address so it, it could return the data and prepare for db for create it, it will prepare for db and it will return that's perfect but i don't like this commenting <laughs> so what i will do i'll actually uh, for this like uh, i don't use this uh, slug generation method here rather i would create a new method so just uh, give it a name like uh, create unique slug okay and it would return return a slug definitely it would expect a string it, it would expect a string and string title and it would return a string also so it would so instead of this so it would be now like this okay so create unique slug perfect and now we should not write it like this so it would be like uh, this create unique slug and there is a spelling mistake and definitely as this method doesn't use uh, other other parts so let's keep it private unique slug and pass the data of title data of title perfect okay so now and definitely it would return a string right and now it, it doesn't necessary to make this comment because our method is self spreading and also it doesn't necessary to add this add the user ready command so everyone can understand this code, this code easily right now let's see one more time if our everything's working perfectly or not uh, give it like 10 and just execute it just create a new product with a new title perfect everything is perfect so now will you upload the image and test it and now how we'll proceed this if uh, someone uh, give a valid email value if not empty of data of data of image that means someone if someone gives an image and images doesn't empty then would like data of image equal to something hmm. so definitely we will create also separate method to handle that image um, 
actually we can like upload image so and definitely as as the image data like data of image it's not like a string so it doesn't a good a good approach for this it is a mixed type so like like Im write it like image and it would be like this upload image sorry this upload image and then pass the data of image from here to there and after uploading properly it would return the file name if it uploads properly okay so in 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 the in here instead of returning this value it would return a definitely it would also return a string and what's what's pending and let's just uh, name it name our image like uh, image name equal to so it would be like I'll just add a timestamp timestamp and then add the image extension so just concrete and for from the image we will get like image of extension extension okay it's like this extension so it's it's our image name and how we uh, and we'll, we'll finally will return this image name definitely but but uh, and before that we will upload this image so how we can upload this image uh, data of like so image copy this image and st will you store publicly publicly as like we'll st you will use this image publicly so that it is available publicly and then pass this image name okay so it would be um, uploaded in our storage slash storage storage in the storage folder okay so let let's test how, yeah, if it is works or not so if we go to our file just add an image now so just giving a product image of symphony samsung and then click on execute and let's see wow so look we have got the image image name here and if we go to our database let's see if the image is added here or not also we, we have got the image image here and if we go to our stores folder app public we have got this image right look look there is there is the image that's great but one thing is important can we access this image easily let's see if we can access this image how we can actually access this image so like uh, it would be so then public and then slash like get the slug from here if we enter it we should see the image but no we don't get getting this image what's the problem so if we use this public disk then what we should do we should do we should like piece partition storage link okay and and also by default public disk uses local driver no problem so let's just copy this command and execute it this person storage link and look if we go to our public folder right now look there is a storage and look it's a sim link so a sim link of here is created so now if we like uh, if we want to get this image maybe we, we should get the image properly here let's see if it's the issue sorry it would be like as we are in public or you have already in localhost 8000 and after that there is a storage sim link and we need to give storage and then we need to append this url right so this by, by this way we can get the url and we can view this url like if we click this url we can view and one thing so we have uploaded the image cor correctly and but uh, if we go to our list you list api if we go to our list api what look like like if we enter our go to our list api click enter it try it look there is a image id what is there there is an image like that that 
so and it's a problem right so if we get the image like this then we need to generate that url and it's not good for uh, like a, a mobile you like someone using doing a front end he doesn't know your urls he doesn't doesn't know, know the, those urls so he wants only a simple image url so simplest way how we can achieve this in our product model we can append a append a attribute for that image URL if we go to these like the first we need to make a protected uh, column here like protected uh, it would be image URL and then inside of this there will be a method public accessor for that shift F, format it and get user attribute like this get image url attribute it would be like that image url would be here and first word would be get and last word would be attribute so how what would be our url it would be like stories and stories url stories url of like uh, this of image right so let's see if we get the url or image url right now or not yeah it's look like this storage slash url but uh what we, we have missed we have missed the base url so for now as our base url should be included also with this response so we can use the like base url and then concat it so like oh, oh it would be url and inside of that just give this then storage url let's see and yeah, now it's perfect so it's perfect now and what if we don't have the image what we should do like if uh, if empty of this image then we should not give anything we should return just null so that uh, front-end devs can easily handle if there is no image right so just reload this and let's hit again and check finally if our product list is work perfectly or not yeah we have got this image url null and if there is a valid image url we could get the image url like this perfectly and someone can get this and paste it here and can get the image url perfect so now look there is one image and one image url it would be still confusing to a uh, front end depth so there is a, another way to laravel like hidden and what would be hidden when an outputting or serializing so image attribute would be hidden like look now like image and image url if we like hit enter now there look there is no image url on mm, there is no image only image url now the api looks perfect great awesome so next step is we'll do the filtering stuff so what we will use only we'll use two columns one is like search search for like we'll search by title or slug and another uh and title and slug title search is uh, actually enough title by title search for for our case and another could be someone can get the latest product or the oldest product or the best uh, highest price product someone can get that so like order and order by so we would add three more three more columns here so let's add in our product controller controller product controller yep so we'll add one or we'll add three more parameters here so copy this parameter parameter and paste it here paste it here also then the parameter would be like uh, it would be like search so name would be search so in query definitely it would be in query and it would be like uh, search by title and 
you got definitely false and by default type type could would be a string and default value we don't pass any default value default value could be empty and uh, next next uh, do this for order by then order column so order by means which column would be here order then by okay and it would be also in query it would be what here we just order by column name so order by column name and let's give me it order and it also required by false so by default order by column name could be sorry we have missed a spelling mistake here uh, whatever you call the name, what it should be, it should be ID and by default we will get the latest products. So if we just copy this and paste it again here and whatever by, whatever by ID, actually it's it's a string, which column actually, whatever by column name, right? And whatever, so whatever, whatever should be all actually yes yes is yes, an ascending or descending so by default we'll get the descending order product order uh, ordering ac or dsc man ascending or dsc descending perfect and also it would be required false perfect and let's see if we get those in here or not reload it <coughs> Okay, perfect. So we have got the, all of the things. Water by water search. Great. So if we comes to our controller, we have pass only the par page here, right? But it's not it's not good practice. We would we'll pass par page here. Rather, we we'll pass request all, so that all of the request would be passed from passed from here. And if we go to get all method get all method it's like per page and also our CRUD interface CRUD interface uh, it should be it could be acceptable for that like if we go to CRUD interface int per page nope we should we should not do like that we would use an array and actually filter data filter data someone can give some filter data in there okay and if we go to our product repository so now instead of uh, int per page the, this thing would be like uh, array of filter data and definitely we can get the filter data to, to here no problem like it would be filter data of filter data of that filter but but wait if we uh, do things like so then it's like inconsistent so what we'll do we'll get a uh, filtering method we'll get a let's create a function uh, get filter data then return it and inside inside here we'll, we'll was also pass the filter data pass the filter data here and we'll get the real filter data from here and for now we'll definitely use like a valid filtering like a uh, filter like default args default default arguments what is the what are the default arguments so it's like par page par page like default is 10 and then uh, search search is default like empty and then uh, we have like a order by Water by water by default is like ID and finally it's water. Water default is like DSC, DSC descending. Okay, so we have the default and whatever uh, if someone gives uh, the filter data here, then we will merge that that to our default works. Okay, so let's just uh, return array merge return array merge of our filtered data and default args so let's def default args and add the filtered data
and also definitely there's also an array okay so we have a get filtered data so like uh, filter equal to this get filter get filtered data and also pass like filtered data here that's it and inside of this so now we'll actually process this these things properly what we do we would first create a query for this be query equal to product order by so order by normally definitely someone doesn't someone must have to we give order by no it's not necessary because we have give some default that means we definitely from this filter would get this order by right so order by it would be like filter of filter of order by and like it's a column and then is the value if, if it is des descending or ascending like so it would be then order by of order so would get the order okay so the query and finally just return this uh, query and page sorry it would be like query then paginate it would be like this query and paginate and definitely here would be like filter of our page our page okay so we have added word by and per page and now let's we need to add the search filtering right so like if not empty if not empty of filter of search so if someone gives something to search filtering then we need to filter filter out it so let's make this like query where uh, query where definitely uh, we can use uh, if we use once one one where clause then it's simple like we can use like title like title like uh, Give the search clause search appended to do it would be like filter of search filter of search but what if if we just add one more clause like you, you we need to give or where or something like then it would be a mass but so what we would do here if for if we use only single title search then it's okay but we're not our system could be extended right so what we should do we should use rather here a closure function so what the closure function would do would pass the query query in this closure function also use this filter filter so that we can mm, get the filter data inside of this method and okay and in here we'll actually filter this like this like query where title like this query where title is like this and and then if needs another set like look uh, like uh, we would add another filtering like uh, or where or where with with a slug so it can be done easily night right now like it would be slug and definitely it would be like and also it would be the search but let's create a method let so let's create a variable for this like our uh, searched equal to this and copy this and paste it in here paste it also here perfect so we have made a good filtering with our cases all shift f formatting everything and perfect let's see if our system works properly or not reload it once again now let's see by giving uh, a default value of uh, per page 2 so then we can get only two product so like one two yeah we we, are, we can get only two products so these filterings work this is working we'll give one 
to check if only we can get one product perfect it's working so give a um, id dsc dsc means we can get look we can getting the last id right perfect if we get get the ac let 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 me see we can get get the first id perfect perfect so this is working and let's just does not give this we don't give this value and if we don't give this value then it's not also a problem we can get the all of the value with the default 10 presentation perfect and what else let's now search one thing like uh, let's uh, search with simple simple yeah, if we search with simple we could get id1 id2 yeah only only those two two let's see if we can get those two or not simple execute yep simple and simple perfect we have got only those two and look if we search only with also simple product what you would get sorry it's not this it would be here simple products we should also get those two but if we search only this simple product two then what it should be it should be like we should get only one product perfect so it, it, it's like getting only one product okay i think so this is enough for today we have shown many many more things in this tutorial use showing how to filtering things properly uh, how to creating things uh, how to creating product easily with uh, with image or normal added some validations added everything so thank you for watching this tutorial in the next tutorial we'll finish our edit and delete route and our product card will be finished in our next tutorial and so please wait for my next tutorial please definitely like and subscribe to my channel also give your comment if you give a small comment i get inspired from your comment and i can easily give my next video then so thank you bye bye